Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Hope your day is going well. If not, I hope your day gets better. Today's video is going to be on the FTX Banzai. I upgraded the body shell and the wheels. I'm going to show you that in the video. Also, we went to Redfin Models to purchase these things. Link down below. Shout out, Jason. Let's get straight to the video. On my way to Redfin Models now. Gonna be there in like six. Maybe five minutes. Just got to Redfin Models. Yeah, Redfin Models. Here, Jason, get all your accessories here. Based in Bulldog. Literally, five minute walk from the station. They got my favorite car here, the felony. Gonna come see you soon. They have an amazing crawler track there. If you have a crawler, 128th scale, I think. If you ask politely, I'm sure Jason will let you take a short spin. But yeah, I think this part of the track is the trickiest. Nearly there. Yeah, I made it. Redfin Models also has a flying simulator, which is quite mm -hmm. tricky. You can change from a water plane to a helicopter. Also, you can use a jet and a stunt plane. This is my first time flying, not amazing, but can get it off the floor at least. I didn't get any footage of Jason helping me pick out a shell, but I'll show you when I get back. We're back home now from Redfin Models. Time to show you what I brought. Originally wanted to pick out a BMW clear body shell, but when I went to the shop and I see what shells they did have, it was hard to pick. So here, have my FTX Banzai shells coming to pieces don't know if you can see it there it's coming to pieces um, but yeah this is my FTX Banzai um, just stock everything on this car is stock I haven't changed nothing yet um, apart from so don't know if you can see here but um, right here um literally i just put the magnets on to see how they fit just to get the fitting right so for my body show i'm gonna show you my body show in a second i i had to cut down the body post so the front body posts are six holes down so i've cut six holes from the bottom on the front and at the back if you can see there, I cut two, so I've only got two holes. I don't know if you can see there. Just so the body sits a little bit neater on the post or whatever you want to call them now, on the magnets. Um, now, I actually found out that my body doesn't fit on the foam. So I've cut, so I've just made some little incisions. I don't know if you can see them on the camera there, but I've made two incisions there. So I know where I'm cutting to cut round to make sure the body fits. Um, when you're cutting, if you do do this at home, when you're cutting, um, don't take off a big chunk straight away. Cause when you want to put on a next body or, or if you've got, the cut a little bit wrong or whatever 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 the problem is you can always adjust it if you've got a little bit extra when you have a little bit less it's harder to add on foam and yeah you just end up getting a new foam or ruining the foam so um so to show you what i do have put this away from red thin models um so the first thing i got was this it's a um it's a light setup it comes with y shaped cable two pieces five millimeter white light set two piece or well, you can read it it's right there if you can't i'm gonna read it anyway just in case five millimeter white light setup two piece five millimeter red light set one piece 
three millimeter orange light setup two piece and a three millimeter white light white light set one piece um from gt power rc link to get these down below and the second thing i got i meant sorry the third thing i got is already on the car it's these little magnet sets here um i got a set of four i believe so one set four pieces four magnets back to this let me open this one up on camera so you look and see what comes in the box so you get the receiver obviously the cables underneath you'll find little cable ties uh sticky bits the tubes to put the lights in just accessories basically um and this little booklet here this little manual shows you how to basically set, set them up in your car in different languages shout out jason for this one i like this one but so it's from killer bodies don't know if you can see it there remove the packaging no one needs that don't know if you can see it there take it out of this i've got alpha Romeo z type i believe this is little drift car here I love the back, the back kills. Look at that. Amazing body. So, I want to get this hard shape. The, the, the one difference between this show and this show, that's kind of hard to get it to fit on the, um, the car, is that the fronts, are two different widths. Don't know if you can see that on camera there. Maybe if I took it up. There are two different win widths. This one comes to a point. This one's very wide. Very wide. Um, so, don't know if you can see it here. But, to put this body show on, is easy because obviously it goes on there, but it also goes round the bumper protector foam thing now this one because of this little lip thing here i don't know if you can see that there it doesn't really it doesn't fit over the bumper so don't know if you see it, if you can see here but i've made two little lines incisions um just to mark where I want to cut the foam for it to go into. I don't want to cut the body because the body is so nice. Don't want to put holes in it either. They actually recommended, um, shout out to the guy, I can't remember his name. Um, as I said, I'm going to catch his name another time. Hopefully we can do a video together. Colours as well, black and red. My colours, don't know if you can see from my t-shirt. Shout out my merch. Anyway. Um, so I've made two little in incisions here um, to um, mark out where I want to cut so this body here can fit on top neatly. So time to cut in. I was thinking about what tool to, to use. I have a couple of tools. I was thinking about wire cutters or scissors to get the cleanest cut. I'm going to try with the wire cutters first, show you the, uh, the outcome of the wire cutters and then I'll show you with scissors. So I'm using these the wire cutters. Gonna go along that little line I made there.
kind of tricky to get these in there because it's got little, little, little teeth. But doing a neat enough job, it's just hard to get in there right now. That's one side done. Now to do the other side. Shabby, I think that's decent. Right, let's see how it fits. There goes, baby. So, this is how I want my movie to be. Mark out exactly where all of your posts are roughly, so I know mine are literally there, there, and if you check the underneath in this well, if you look under there, you'll find your body posts here and here. So what you wanna do, you wanna attach your magnets to the inside. I'll show you how I do that. So I don't know if you can see here, but you give it a double-sided tape. Piece of double-sided tape. And then you stick it how you want it to be. So I want mine right here. And then get the other piece, do the same on the other side. Same to the top. Once you've placed your magnets onto your sticky tape, apply your pins into the um, magnets on the body to keep the magnets on and you're ready to go put the body on top and you're ready to ride ready to go out to the tarmac jason actually helped me put in the lights so next video i'm going to show you how jason showed me And we go back to Redfin Models and we get a delivery. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. See you next video.